Hello, I'm the professor with a bow tie. If you want to learn Greek and to expand your mind, then this is the channel for you. Before we jump into the meat and potatoes of this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell and smash the like button if you like this video. Today we will talk about the Greek syllables. Let's go! Each word is divided into smaller parts called syllables. Syllaves. Syllaves. Syllables. A syllable consists of one or more consonants together with a vowel or diphthong, or has only one vowel or diphthong. Let's see the paradigm. Ime. This verb means to be. E is the diphthong epsilon yota and it is a separate syllable. Me is a syllable that consists of a consonant together with a diphthong. Episis. It means also. E, P, Cis. This word has three syllables. The first syllable, E, is the letter epsilon. The second is P, It consists of one consonant with a vowel and also the third. Ime episis. Depending on the number of syllables, a word is called monosyllavi. Monosyllavi. Monosyllable. That is when it has one syllable. Take for example the word ne. It means yes. It has a consonant the letter ni and a diphthong, alpha yota, ne. Also, we call the syllabi, the syllabi, a word that has two syllables. Take, for example, the verb echo, e, ho. There are two syllables. Trisyllabi, trisyllabi is the word with three syllables. Let's see the word mathima. Ma, thi, ma. And last, polysyllavi. Polysyllavi is called a word that has more than three syllables. Let's see the example. Ipostirizo. The verb ipostirizo has more than three syllables. I, po, Sti, ri, zo. One, two, three, four, five syllables. And this word is called polysyllavi, polysyllable. And you have to know that the syllables of a word have names. The first syllable is called archiki, initial, archiki. The last syllable is called ligusa. Ligusa. It is the ending of the word. The second from the end is called paraligusa. Paraligusa. Penultimate. The third syllable from the end is called proparaligusa. Proparaligusa. Antipenult. Archiki. Ligusa. Paraligusa. Proparaligusa. Let's see a word and define the name of its syllables. We have the verb ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ means to thank, thank you. The initial syllable, the αρχική, is the diphthong F. Epsilon and Ypsilon combined, F. Then the second syllable is the προπαραλίγουσα, προπαραλίγουσα, the third syllable from the end. Antipenult, ha, ha, is the letter he and the letter alpha, ha, a consonant and a vowel. The third syllable is called παραλίγουσα, παραλίγουσα, ρι. It consists of the letter ρο and ιώτα, ρι. And it is called penultimate, παραλίγουσα. And the ending syllable is called in Greek 
Λίγουσα, λίγουσα, στο, στο. It consists of the letters σίγμα, ταφ and ωμέγα. Ευχαριστώ. Εφ, χα, ρι, στο. Let's recapitulate the names that we've, we've learned today. First, the names of the syllables depending on their number and then the names the actual names of syllables depending on their position in the word depending on the number of the syllables we have monosyllabi monosyllable monosyllabi disyllabi a two syllable word trisyllabi three syllable word and polysyllabi polysyllable monosyllabi Δυσύλλαβη, τρισύλλαβη, πολυσύλλαβη. And then the names of the syllables depending on their position in the words are αρχική, initial, προπαραλίγουσα, antipenalt, παραλίγουσα, penultimate, λίγουσα, ending, αρχική, Προπαραλίγουσα, παραλίγουσα, λίγουσα. If you like this video and you find it useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Next time.